Hello everyone, this is Glenn Morano here, Gamertag SC Space Shadow TSI for our news update, February 15th, 2021. Thank you so much for joining in, we really appreciate it. Today we're going to be going over a few things about Call of Duty, we're looking at Warzone, PlayStation's got some big things happening, Xbox is launching a new service, sort of, and there's no games out this week, so we won't be seeing any, seeing any trailers at the end of this one. Usually I'll have trailers, but um, not this week. You can always catch up with us over at Facebook. Uh, search out the Shadow Corporation. You can go facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash the Shadow Corporation. And uh, you can chat with us. All of our news links are typically there before it's here. So check us out there. You can talk with us live chat. I'd love to see your comments and what you think and everything that's going on in the world of video games. I also stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. You can stop by there and chat with me live and check out some of the variety of games. It's over at facebook.com forward slash SC Shadow TSI or search out SC Shadow TSI on Facebook Gaming. Call of Duty League Play has some updates going on and in, you know, in Call of Duty fashion, you're going to have some trolls in there while you're doing your League Play. You're trying to play your game properly and you got these guys over there trying to team kill you and troll you. So what's going to happen now is that team killers will get the first kill for free, meaning, you know, it's a mistake. It happens. After the second kill, it'll be a ricochet damage and then subsequent uh, team kills will get you kicked out of the match. And I'm hoping that they would start banning these guys because maybe if they put something like that in there it would really stop them from being the trolls that they are the rcxd was removed from league play as well for some visual bugs there wasn't too many more details on that but i can't see anybody using that but i i, I see it in warzone once in a while so i'm guessing that people must be using it on the warzone side of things lightning has been spotted in verdansk which is pretty cool because that leads to speculation that perhaps we'll see weather patterns coming into uh, Warzone or Battle Royale on Verdansk, which I think is going to be awesome. Snow or rain or fog or something like that. I think that's going to be very, very cool. Also, on Rebirth Island, there is there is a little Easter egg. When you If you trigger it, you're at the right time. You trigger it, you get a, a staticky transmission and some Russian-speaking uh, language and then some Morse code. The Russian has been translated. The Morse code hasn't as of yet. Um, the Russians, the message on the in Russian says, Russian ship Vorinayo, I don't know how to say it, ask permission to ship cargo to Verdansk. Also says, trains ready to go, all systems up. So that's the message that's in uh, yeah, Rebirth Island right now. That's in Russian. So that there's there's it, everything is pointing to some kind of a zombie infestation. I also heard of a rumor about a open world zombie game coming into uh, um, Modern Warfare or Warzone or Battle Royale or something like that. Um, it, it, in addition, Activision had said that Warzone is going to be their front and center game. So they're they're really hopefully they're smart enough to take advantage of it and really put some cool events up. They did pretty good on the last Halloween event. I had a lot of fun with that. So I'm looking forward to this next event. On the PlayStation side of things, there is a class action lawsuit being filed against Sony for their PS5 controller as I guess, I guess it's been drifting. And apparently Sony knew about this in playtesting, but released it anyway. The lawsuit says it's deceptive marketing and deceptive practice, and they are suing for it. Um, Xbox and Nintendo has also had suits filed against them in the past for the same kind of thing deal. The problem with the PlayStation controller from what I've read is that the repair is extremely difficult. The backlog to repair is extremely difficult. And unfortunately, if you have this problem, it's going to take a very long time for you to get it fixed. That's sad. There's been a 10 foot giant $70,000 PS5 created that actually works. The thing weighs 500 pounds. Here's a picture of it here. YouTuber ZHC uh, picked it up for, uh, like I said, $70,000. Um, and I, he, well, he eventually put a custom paint job on it, but uh, I thought that was worth noting. Over to Xbox seems the team is working on some big features for the new console which is um i guess some of the uh, most of the games have the quick resume feature of available but a lot of games do not so they want to have a seamless system set up for the quick resume along with other things 
So they're up to something. And I think that now that E3 is on this year, I think you're going to see a lot of things coming from Microsoft side and the Xbox side. So uh, look look for that. Keep keep your eyes you know peeled for that. We're going to link up as many as we can on our discussion group over at the Shadow Corporation on Facebook. Check that out. I'm also going to be talking about that as well during my streams, which is every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 12 to noon. Oh, sorry, 10 a.m. to noon time. That's that's the time anyway. So very cool. Also, XCloud, which is the streaming service for Xbox, which is uh, something that I thought is one of the greatest. I, I mean, I I use it and it's fantastic. I have the um, I use it on my phone and I have the 8-bit dual controller and I'm able to control my Xbox from my phone anywhere and it's fantastic it really is a good system they're going to make it available through a web portal so now you'll be able to visit a website and stream and control your xbox and play games via your pc your phone or whatever whatever it is but they're working on it and i i think that's fantastic they they're in they're testing it internally now and the preview will be available to the public in this spring um, typically I'll have games coming out this week, which I don't have a list. I have only one game that's coming out and I'm not going to show the trailer on that, but I typically would give you a list of games that are coming out this week, plus show the trailers for that. But the, it, the pandemic really put a damper on things. The only game that's coming out that's worth looking at is King of Seas, which is a top down, uh, sort of a sailboat shooter type game. Uh, it's, it's not a game that you would buy in a store or anything or any kind of a first party title. It's kind of an app more than it is anything else. So I'm not going to show that trailer. So anyway, I appreciate you guys joining in. Thank you so much. Don't forget to check out the Shadow Corporation on Facebook. And also I stream every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday as if I hadn't said it enough from 10 a.m. till noon. Check me out there on Facebook Gaming. Thank you so much. Um, we do have a tournament, not a tournament, sort of a match coming up, an exhibition match coming up. So uh, get over to the Shadow Corporation and take a look at that. It's uh, it's a free entry with some great prizes coming in. So we'll look forward to seeing you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great rest of your day.